Okay, this is a uh, pretty straightforward silicone oil removal. This is a phagic patient that had had a buccal vitrectomy three or four months prior to this for a retinal detachment. A couple pearls for removing silicone oil. Uh, first of all, you want to make sure and have in your visualization not only the pupil with the red reflex, but also your oil extrusion cannula. And you can see here, I can actually see the oil kind of bubbling up into my VFC cannula. And then the, in the red reflex, we can actually see once we've removed the majority of the oil, as we're starting to get towards the end of things, we can see that oil crescent kind of move by nice and slowly. Now, when it gets to this point, you want to really be careful because if you keep your foot fully on the pedal and you're not ready to come off of the extrusion vacuum force, you can get some flattening of the eye. Follow that oil bubble down. You want to be able to follow that oil bubble. Don't come in and out. You want to try and keep that oil bubble as one single oil bubble. And you do that by kind of following it into that VFC cannula, even when you can't see it in contact. A little trickier in a phacic eye as well. Then core vitrectomy. And we're just going around now and kind of looking to see, you know, is there any vitreous left? Um, we're also trying to remove any floating, you know, oil bubbles or remnants of any PFO that might have been left behind. In this case, we want to go ahead and reinforce things by adding some additional laser. So we're going to laser on our buckle in areas that we have uh, potential concerns about, but nothing that's going to require this patient to have oil back in their eye. And then last but not least, I always do like to perform an air fluid exchange in a patient like this so that we can remove all the residual oil bubbles and anything that might be trapped up, um, you know, in this patient's eye so that they don't have untoward floaters afterwards. Uh, and then nicely with 25 gauge surgery, sometimes you can do it sutureless. Thanks for watching.